<clears throat> Hello and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I am showing you my 1975 Bronco by Ford. It's in my all-wheel drive drift tune. As you can tell, it's an A-class. Um, Gage uh, Fishing asked for this. He just said the old Ford Bronco. That's all he said. So uh, what did I do to this thing? As you can tell, it's only got a top speed of 100. 0.6 miles per hour and it's exactly uh what's on the speedo is 100 so you know that's what i did and i used the stock engine as well um so uh here's the share code to lease to this got it good let's have a look at this vehicle now for some reason i decide to uh paint this blue um, blue just uh, stuck out to me and I, I left the, uh, the roof on as well um, I didn't really get any much information from fishing um, so uh, I just tuned it as I thought I should tune it um, and if he wants anything more out of it uh, you are more than welcome fishing to say yeah but I want more power I want this 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 you know you, you gotta let me know um, so here we we're just rocking the stock powertrain to cut 544 horsepower, 601 foot pounds of torque. Of course, it's stock drivetrain, all wheel drive. And it's got a supercharger. Nothing was done to this car, so I just left everything stock. Tire compound, I want the snow tire compound just so then I could bring it up to um, an A class. And then I just left it stock 225 in the front and 225 in the rear. And then I put my favorite rims on my TC 105Ns. They're right at the bottom here. See? And I just left it stock 15s in the front and 15s in the rear. And we got a race clutch, six speed race transmission, race drive line, and a drift differential. Here we got race brakes, rally springs and dampeners, race front anti roll bars, and rear race anti roll bars. I put a roll cage on there just to bring up the uh, the numbers and it's as light as possible so we're saving over 667 pounds around there we gave it a K&N air filter and a carburetor and an ignition with a screwdriver just threw it in there got the uh, cleaned up the uh, the valves an old car gave it a nice camshaft gave it a nice you know exhaust probably aluminum gave it a nice engine race block made it all shiny and clean gave it pistons and compression put them in precisionly gave it a nice uh, positive displacement supercharger probably a, a name brand Gave it an intercooler from O'Reilly's. And then gave it oil and cooling from AutoZone. And then I got a race flywheel from Harper Freight and I put it in here. And that's what we've done to this vehicle. Made it as cheap as possible. Now let's take this vehicle outside and see what it can do. Like I said, it's only got a top speed of 100. I figured it, I would make it like if you were making it in your grandpa's garage and said, Hey, Grandpa, can I soup this thing up? You want soup? Chicken noodle soup or, or tomato soup? No, 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 no. I mean, can I upgrade this, uh, this truck to go, I don't know, drifting? Sure, whatever that is. Go right ahead, my boy. 
and it does well. Fourth gear, it's just wonderful. So fishing, uh, hopefully this is what you wanted. It's, it's so easy to drift. And like I said, it's got a top speed of 106. I mean, 101. Maybe 106 down off of a cliff, but yeah, 101 is the, the speed I have it set at. Exactly about what the uh, Speedo is. The Speedo in there goes to 100. And it's got great brakes, too. Also from probably O'Reilly's. And there you have it. There is my tune for the 1975 Ford Bronco. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, man.